Okay, when you're processing your own film at home, one of the most essential pieces you'll need is a processing tank. Without it, you would not be able to process a roll of film. Now, there's a bunch of different tanks you can choose from, but this video is about one of our favorites here at Cinestill, and it's also my personal all-time favorite tank. What's up? I'm Linus, and today I'm going to introduce to you what I believe is the best film processing tank you can own, Jobo Tanks. For almost 100 years, Jobo has been manufacturing a wide assortment of processing and darkroom products. Almost all of their products are still being made 100% in Germany, right where the family started the business three generations ago. My name is Johannes Bockermühl. I am the CEO of Jobo, and I'd just like to give you a very, very short introduction to our company. Jobo, the brand name you probably are familiar with, comes actually from my grandfather, whose name was Johannes. J-O-B-O -O for Bockermühl, so it's an acronym for Johannes Bockermühl, and I just happen to have the same name. So welcome to Jobo from Jobo. We are very happy and thankful and proud at the same time to be around and to serve customers like you who love analog photography. And um, as you will see uh, in this short video, our product system is a very modular system which can be used uh, in a great variety of combinations, always suiting your perfect needs, whether it's only one film or several films you want to process, whether it's a 35 millimeter or whether it's roll film or even large format in another video, you will probably see that too. And um, yeah, we are grateful to be working with analog products and um, thanks for your attention. Jobos are some of the most chemically efficient tanks you can use today. This means with inversion processing, they need 30% less chemistry than other leading tanks. When using roller processing or rotational agitation, that number is even more significant, but we'll talk about that later in the video. Jobo applies different kinds of high-tech plastics, which provides their products with very long durability and does not allow chemistry particles to enter the surface. This combination makes Jobo tanks more ecological and economical. So let's get right to it. Jobo currently produces three primary lines of processing tanks, the 1500 Amateur Line Series, the 2500 Professional Line Series, and the Expert Line. Today, we're going to talk about what most at-home film processors like ourselves would use, the 1500 Series of Tanks. The 1500 Series is a modular system that allows you to process both 35 millimeter and 120 medium format film. In the 1500 Series, Jobo has two different tanks you can choose from, the 1510 and the 1520 uni tank, which you can then expand with the 1530 extension tank. Starting off, we have the 1510, which is the smallest tank in the series. This little tank is perfect for beginners, as well as people who don't process a ton of film at home. The 1510 can process a single roll of 35 millimeter film and does not use a lot of chemistry to successfully process your film, only four to seven ounces. Next up, we have the 1520 Uni Tank. This tank is the one for photographers that shoot both 35 millimeter and 120 film. It's my personal favorite. With this tank, you'll be able to process either two rolls of 35 millimeter or two rolls of 120 film at a time with minimal chemistry consumption. But if you're like us and you wanna process more than two rolls of film at a time, you'll probably want to grab a 1530 or 1540 module. The 1530 is an expansion tank that you can either attach to your 1510 or 1520, which makes it super easy to process even more film in one go. When you pair a 1530 with a 1510 tank, you'll be able to process an additional three rolls of 35 millimeter film or four rolls of 120 film. And if you attach a 1530 to a 1520 tank, it will allow you to process an additional three rolls of 35 millimeter or four rolls of 120. There's also a 1540 tank. On its own, it's big enough to process either four rolls of 35 millimeter or four rolls of 120. I started out with a Jobo 1520, just developing one or two rolls at a time. And when I got more confident in my abilities of processing film at home, I got myself a 1530 module and bumped it up to like six rolls of 120 at a time, which is incredibly satisfying. However, if you are only trying to process one or two rolls, it's still helpful to own a 1510 or a 1520 since they don't require as much chemistry as a larger tank. And that's why the modularity is so nice. 
You have a 1530 to attach when you have a lot of film to develop, and you can take it apart and just use your 1510 or your 1520 when you just have a roll or two. So as you grow in your analog journey and get more confident in developing and processing film by yourself, the 1500 series tanks grow along with you, making sure that you always have enough tank to process all of your film in from your outings and adventures. One of my favorite features of the 1500 and 2500 series tanks is that they have a pop-on lid that has a pressure indicator in the center. As you process your film, both developer and Blix can build up pressure. The pressure from these gases could cause your lid to pop off and have your chemistry go everywhere, but it's not really a problem with these lids. Popping the indicator in when you start processing means that when the pressure builds up, your tank will warn you with a satisfying pop that tells you to burp the tank by removing the lid to remove some of the pressure that's built up inside. Now, one of the things that makes Jobo tanks and especially the 1500 series tanks so special is that you can either use them for inversion or rotary agitation methods. Each tank comes with a handy guide on the side so you can easily remember how much chemistry you need to use. As you can see here on this 1520 uni tank, if you'd like to use inversion style agitation, you'll need to use 485 milliliters of chemistry. But with rotary agitation, you get to cut that in half and only need to use 240 milliliters total to process two rolls of 35 millimeter film or 120 film. Now, Jobo reels. Jobo tank reels are made from a flexible, durable plastic. This is the 1501 reel, which is compatible with all 1500 series tanks and can be easily adjusted to fit 35 millimeter or 120 film by simply unlocking the reel and extending it like this. These reels feature a convenient duo red clip that allows you to load two rolls of 120 film end to end without overlapping. These reels were also designed to be loaded quick and easy, whether in the dark or in a changing bag. And we actually have a video on how to load Jobo reels somewhere up here. So click the link above. The Jobo 1509 roller base is ideal if you're using the 1520, especially with an extension, but it, like many of Jobo's products, is modular, allowing for the roller base to work with the 2500 series tanks too. This is a perfect solution if you use one-shot chemistries like our CS6 first developers. Jobo also makes a series of processors, like the CPE3 and the CPP3, that can work with their tanks and help you process film at a larger scale, while helping control the temperature of your chemistry. You'll often find these processors in community darkrooms or even at photographic labs. We're not going to spend time on them today, but let us know in the comments below if you want us to talk about these more in a future video. I've personally developed hundreds or maybe over a thousand rolls of film using Jobo tanks. I like to use the 1520 with the 1530 extender. This whole line was created with you in mind, and with nearly a hundred years of experience, Jobo knows a thing or two about how to process film. If you're looking to get into processing your film at home, we've partnered with Jobo to create two different kits to help you get started. Our Cinestill Jobo Mono Processing Kit features a Jobo 1510 tank and is perfect for 35 millimeter black and white film processing. While the Cinestill Jobo Duo is ideal for both color and black and white film and comes with a 1520 tank for either 35 millimeter or medium format film and much more. Anything else we should add, Johannes? What is there possibly to add? Such a perfect explanation of how a modular system works. And the only thing I'd briefly like to add is that there's a whole bunch of products to be discovered from Jobo, uh, ranging from everything you can imagine for the darkroom, for processing your film. And then, if I think about it, there's one tiny bit that might come in much, much later for some of you. All these products, work for inversion tank processing perfectly. But in case someone later wants to move into rotary processing with such a machine, all the same tanks can be simply transformed into tanks for rotary processing by just simply changing this lid. And then all the whole range will work perfectly with the processor and the same product will keep working in your um, lab and that's maybe one of the biggest advantages of Jobo and possibly a disadvantage for me. Our products uh, claim to, to last simply too long. Here at Cinestill, we're excited to be working with the team at Jobo as a North American distributor, helping bring this whole line of Jobo products to stores near you. Both these kits, accessories, as well as products we've featured today are now available at cinestillfilm.com. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and leave a comment down below if there's any other topics you'd like us to cover. 
And once again, I'm Linus, and I'll see you in the next one.